Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by AppliantVideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. The tools you will need for this repair are a quarter inch nut driver, an adjustable wrench, a number 15 Torx bit incorporated with the drill or a number 15 Torx screwdriver. Today we're working on a under the counter Whirlpool dishwasher. The complaint is that the dishwasher will not fill with water, but the motor does come on. So um, I have diagnosed already that it needs a new inlet fill hose. The old one that's installed right now has a check valve in the actual hose. So uh, every once in a while that check valve will fail and it won't allow any water to come to the dishwasher. So we're gonna be replacing that hose today. To begin the repair, we're going to open the door and we're going to be removing the front panel, not the control panel itself, but the front decorative panel. To do so, there are four number 15 torque screws on each side, the lower four. All together, it will consist of eight screws in total. I'm gonna go ahead and be begin removing them. So once I'm getting ready to remove the last screw, I'm just gonna support that front panel with my uh, other free hand. That way it just doesn't fall. Um, it will not fall straight to the ground, but just in case it does, um, I'm gonna have my hand there. So once all eight screws have been removed, we can go ahead and tilt the actual door assembly up. Let the front panel rest just like so, and then grab a hold of it on each side. Be careful because there are sharp edges and pull straight up and out of the way. The next step is to remove the kick plate. Usually there are two quarter inch screws on each side. One of them is missing on this one, so we'll remove the uh, right side quarter inch screw. And go ahead and grab both of these panels. There's, there's two panels that this consists of. Um, they're a little glued together, but you could see on the side here. I'll go ahead and take it apart, just like that. We'll go ahead and set these aside as well. Next step is to shut off the water before we go any further. We've already disconnected the power supply to the dishwasher. So now we're gonna shut off the water under the sink. It's just a ball valve. You just twist it until it's shut off all the way, just like that. And then we can come back under the dishwasher using an adjustable wrench. We're gonna go ahead and remove the water line that goes to the actual fill valve on the dishwasher. You might get a few drips of water, a residual water line that's in the actual hose or the valve. Um, this will be normal, so just wipe it up with a rag. Let's see if I can, since I loosened it, I'm gonna remove it the rest by my hand. And I'll just lay it here, just like that. And now I'm gonna go to the underside of the sink and disconnect the one under the sink. Using my adjustable wrench, I'm gonna size it. And just start rotating it off. Once it's loose, I'm gonna see if I can do it with my hand. And I can. Just like that. Now we're going to start feeding the old water line through the cabinet towards the dishwasher. At the same time, we're going to be um, pulling under the dishwasher, pulling the line through uh, to make sure it doesn't get tangled anywhere. So um, I'm gonna start by coming under the sink, pushing a little bit through, and then going under the dishwasher and pulling it out. I just do this until I can remove the whole hose. I'm 
just like so. Now we're ready to install the new water line. Uh, to do so, we're gonna go from under the sink and start feeding it through the opening where the drain hose comes through. Um, so I'm gonna do this slowly, uh, that way it doesn't get tangled up anywhere. So I'm just gonna start feeding it through. Once I fed a little bit through, I'm actually gonna stick my arm under the dishwasher and start pulling it through. Just like so. Then I'm going to hook it up under my sink first. To begin so, we're gonna line up the hose up to the valve and start threading it by hand as much as we can. Once we can't do it by hand anymore, we're going to use uh, an adjustable wrench to complete the installation on the compression fitting on the valve. So that's about good right there. Now I'm just going to tighten the compression fitting with my adjustable wrench. I wanna get it nice and snug so it doesn't leak. Just a little more, you don't wanna over tighten it. And that's probably good. Now we're ready to reroute the water line under the dishwasher and connect it to the actual water valve. So to do so, I'm just gonna feed this water line under the drain hose right here. and line it up to the fill valve and start tightening it to the fill valve, fastening it to the fill valve by hand. Once I can't tighten it anymore by hand, I will um, finish securing this compression fitting on the valve with an adjustable wrench. Because of the space limitation, it will take me several turns to do so. The next step would be to turn on the water and check for leaks. I'm gonna start by turning the water on. You can hear the water pressurize when you do it. The compression fitting under the sink looks good. And the compression fitting at the dishwasher looks good as well. Next step of the repair is to install the uh, kick plate at the bottom. So to do so, we're gonna line up both panels, slide it under the dishwasher. I'm gonna get my screw ready on my drill. Again, this is the white uh, quarter inch screw. Line my toe plate in place and re-secure the panels with the screw. The next step is to reinstall the front panel or the front cover. To do so, you're gonna line it up Insert the tabs on the hinges, and then let it rest down. At this point in time, we can grab the whole door assembly and start pulling it towards ourselves. Pull up on both panels. Line up that panel with the door liner to re-secure the panels with the eight number 15 torque screws. I'm gonna start on the bottom. That way it will free up one of my hands and then I will secure the other side bottom screw. So at this point in time now I can return the other six number 15 uh, torque screws. Once all the screws have been 
secured into the panels. You can go ahead and shut the door and that will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.